is classic I want to be your dog so in the intro I'm playing a G power chord to F sharp to E okay so three five five two four four open two two and then putting some leaving that bottom note ring in and just playing some little hammers from A to B, D to E. So on the A and D strings, 12 and 14, you know, just kind of improvising, just loosely following the track. But what I'm using here is a very old pedal, a Boss DF2, would you believe? Super Distortion and Feedbacker. And it's an ancient pedal, I've had it for years, and it's really beat up. But what it does that I love is if you hold your foot down on it, it produces feedback, uh, which otherwise I'd need to have some sort of massive amp to get. So if I'm going, just hold my foot down, I get these really nice overtones there. Okay, so that's one way to produce kind of the feedback that you get on the record without kind of destroying your neighbor's ears. All right, and then we're into the main riff. So what I'm doing here is playing G, G5, that's 10, 12, 12 of the yeah, A, D and G strings. Moving down, just like we played in the intro, but an octave higher. F sharp and so F sharp 5 9 11 11 to E 7 9 9 so but to get that really kind of fat sort of punky distorted sound I'm leaving the bottom string the top strings open Then the chorus. It's the same three chords, but you just stay in. You just stay in that middle chord for longer before you go to the E. The best way to do it is just listen and play along with it. But so you're still going down the same three chords, but just the rhythm of the change just changes very slightly and then we've got so I'm going from G to E so 10 to 7 and D to B 5 to 2 on the root though there so 10 12 12 to 7 9 9 5 7 7 2 4 4 Two bars of C, three, five, five, same strings, and back to E. Yeah, okay, and then um, just a little bit of soloing at the end. So I'm just again sort of improvising loosely around what's on the track, but I'm going. So the notes I'm using are, I'm starting usually on a D. Got a C sharp in there, we're 11, so we've got 12, 11, 12, E I'm using, so these notes. Okay, so 12, 11, 12, 14, down to the A string, a B, little hammer there, okay, um, 12 and 14. Also bend that E. Yeah, same kind of stuff. You can play the G with a bend as well. So 12. You can also use the A. 
put in there if you want to. Also, we've got, also going 12 and 14 on the G string. So this is just notes you can use to improvise over the end section. You can also use an F sharp in there as well, or 11. So you can use, basically, if you use these notes, Okay, it's basically an E Dorian scale. Okay, so we've got A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, 12, 14, 11, 12, 14, 11, 12, 14. You can just have a nice play over that outro section. Yeah, and have some fun. So next we'll take a look at the bass. I'm starting on the bass with just a little hammer from D to E and then an open E just kind of just letting those notes ring over the distorted guitar chord okay and then we're into the main riff which is I'm just playing G on 10 on the A string down to F sharp on 9 to E on seven and you play that most of the way through the song in the chorus you just change it slightly so it stays on the f sharp for longer it's still g to f sharp to e but just listen to the track that's just changing with them so instead of going and going So I'm just keeping staying on the F sharp note a little longer before going to that E of the I want to be your dog sections. And then we just got go G to E, 10 to 7, and D to B. I'm playing, I'm playing this all on the A string. You don't have to. I could go. It's up to you. Uh, but I kind of like doing it on the one string. So G, E. Uh, D down to B, so 10, 7, 5, 2, then a C, and just to put in a few little ghosty notes in there, just on an open A string. Again, on the E, go from 3 to 7, again, I can just put a little open string in there, mix it up a bit. Okay, so that's the bass part, and uh, on the piano, I won't bother showing it, because it's just one thing, <laughs> I just played an E note for the whole song, just repeatedly playing, just like it's a percussive tool, uh, an E on the piano. Okay, so great tune there, and uh, thanks for watching, buddies. Cheers!